Hello readers, hope you guys are doing okay during the coronavirus and that you guys are chilling at your homes. Remember in my last video, I said that I would be reviewing my favorite Harry Potter book and that I didn't reveal which one. Well, the mystery is over and I am going to be reviewing Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This book was written by J.K. Rowling, of course in every Harry Potter book is written by J.K. Rowling, and that she is famous for winning many awards and selling the Harry Potter series for over 150 million copies. One time she missed a train and wished that she could use magic to bring back time and that's how she got the idea of writing Harry Potter. The first book of Harry Potter mainly talks about how Harry ended up in Hogwarts and his adventures in his first year. Its name is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The second book, in my opinion, is better than the first one because in the first one Harry is always shy and confused and in the second one he's much more confident and isn't surprised by headless ghosts and floating candles. In the second book, Harry banishes an evil dude named Voldemort who has killed many people uh, many people with a flick of his wand and was unable to kill Harry when he was just a baby. Can you believe that? This book's name is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The third book talks about Harry who runs away from his foster parents and finds out about his mysterious godfather. His godfather's name is Sirius Black. Sirius Black is a prisoner who was thought to murder many people but it was not actually him. This book's name is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The fourth book talks about this series of competitions and surprisingly Harry is chosen even though he is underage. Then he faces a lot of difficulties trying to finish these tasks and challenges which includes Harry on a broom trying to snatch an egg from a dragon, saving his loved ones from underwater and even finding a trophy in the middle of a maze filled with ravenous creatures. In this book Voldemort awakens. It is called Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The fifth one, the fifth book talks about Voldemort coming back to life and Harry discovering a prophecy which has to be taken before Voldemort or he will find the secret to killing Harry. And another thing is that an important character dies in this book. Comment down below if you guys think if you guys know which one it is. This book's name is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and look at the size of it. And finally, the last book in, Voldem in which Voldemort reaches his highest peak in power and then a lot of fun and important characters are at the risk of dying. This book's name is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. You guys might have realized that I didn't review the sixth book. Well, of course, you guys know me. It's my favorite book and I'm going to review it in advance. Right now, I'm going to read a bit of a summary of the uh, back of the book just in case you don't need When Dumbledore arrives at Private Drive one summer night to collect Harry Potter, his wand is blackened and shriven. But he does not reveal why. Secrets and suspicion are spreading through the wizarding world and Hogwarts itself is not safe. Harry is convinced that Malfoy bears the dark mark. There is a Death, e death Eater amongst them. Malfoy is Harry's greatest enemy in the wizarding world and a dark mark is something for uh, Voldemort to realize that he is or a person is a death eater which is his followers. Harry will need powerful magic and true friends as he explores Voldemort's darkest secrets and Dumbledore prepares to face his destiny. The reason why this book is so special to me is because Harry receives some really important information and that information is like a manual to kill Voldemort. See, the thing is, it's a horcrux. A person can put his is, can put part of his soul into a, an object and call it a horcrux and if that horcrux is not destroyed, then the person cannot be killed and Voldemort splits his soul into seven objects. 
That's why I love this book and I think I'm spoiling the rest of the Harry Potter series for you so you better go buy the whole pack and read it. Now I think I'm gonna zip it up because if I say one more word this whole series is gonna be spoiled for you guys. The reason why the Harry Potter series is so good is because it introduces new and unique characters in each and every book. That's why I rate this book a 5 out of a 5. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and also comment down below which book is your favorite. Stay tuned because in my next video I'm going to be reviewing The Giver. Bye bye. Children, it's Wingardium Leviosa, Swish and Flick. Right now, I'm going to review, I'm going to say a bit of the scenery. Um, remember in my last video? Remember in my last video, I said one time she was late for a train and she missed it, and that. Voldemort, which is his toughest power. Uh, toughest power? You're a wizard, Harry.